In this video, we will learn to get the file name from a path in PHP. We will use base name function. It will take a path and return as a file name. Let's see example of it. First, we I will add a PHP tag, and inside PHP tags, I'm going to give a path for file. Let me get the path from and paste it over here. I will go to some directory. Such as in my C directory where I have installed the XAM. See, and then I can go to XAM and 10 ft docs. You can pick any path inside the web server. So I'm just going to copy this one and then select any file from here i will select hello.php so the path will become like this and hello.php And I will save it to my XAMPP folder in docs so that I can execute this PHP file within the server. So I will go to C where I have installed my XAMPP. And then Apache. ft docs sorry for that ft docs folder is here i will save it over here in ft docs and name it but sample dot php and now we have this full path we need to get the file name that is hello.php that we can get by calling base name function. So I'm going to print out that by using, using printf function. And I will say file, file name, and then to print out our string file name and then i will add a break to and then going to call base name function and pass in my path the complete path of this file and just need to save it And now I will run it. I need to start my ZAMP. Here's the ZAMP control panel. Need to start the Apache server. This will turn green when the Apache server is started. So now we can go back to our code and also open a browser. To run our script and check. And in our browser, we can type localhost. That's the address of our Apache web server on our local machine. And then we need to give the file name 
that will be path example. It's over here, path example. You can see it printed the file name from the complete path of a file. So we got hello.php back. And if you want to remove .php, we can pass in the suffix to our base name function. Let's see how to do that. And I'm just going to copy this line. Paste it over here and modify it. File name without extension. Then we can pass in over here. With the path, we can also pass in the extension that we want to remove from the file name. And the ex extension for this file is .php. So I'm just going to add that one. Now just need to run in the browser again or refresh the script and look at the output. Now I will refresh the script and see if it removed .php from it. Over here you can see file name without extension, just a hello without .php extension. So this way with the base name you can get the just a file name from a complete path of a file and also you can remove the extension of a file if you like to do that and if you have just a file name and you want to get the complete path of that file you can use the function real path it's over here i'm going to print a real uh, path complete path of a file by using real path function so i'm just gonna over here going to call real path and pass in the file name such as hello hello dot php and this function takes a file name such as hello.php and return us a complete path like this over here let's try this one and run in our browser when you execute you can see it printed the complete path of that file to keep on learning please subscribe to my youtube channel keep supporting me and thank you for watching